Hey, welcome to Fitz on Flicks. I am Fitz. This is my friend Murph. How are you doing? Zwick. All right. We got our movie this week by director Edward Zwick called Defiance. Um, starring Daniel Craig and Liam Schreiber. And Schreiber? How do you say his name? Schreiber. Schreiber. And uh, a slew of other people. Uh, Murph, what do you think of this movie? What's it about? You want me to tell the people? Uh, I can tell them. You, you want to tell them? Go ahead. I'll tell them this time. Great. All right. Great. So, um... We got a movie that takes place um, in the woods of outside of Por uh, not Portland, outside of Poland. Um, this movie basically is a true story. It's a story that not a lot of people know about. Uh, it's about a group of brothers uh, called the Belsky brothers, and they basically realize Nazi has not occupied Poland, and they, as everyone knows, they're taking uh, Jewish people and they're bringing them to concentration camps and they're killing them. And these brothers start taking Jewish people into the woods with them, hiding them in the woods. And they actually do this for a number of years. Uh, it's one of those stories that's almost too, you know, if it wasn't true, you wouldn't believe it. But it's just, it's one of the most amazing stories. I don't know how, I mean, you know, 33 years old, mm -hmm. I never heard about these guys in history class or growing up in high, in high school or anything like that. This movie taught me something I didn't know, a really important part of, um, you know, History mm -hmm. back then. Murph, what did Absolutely. you think of this movie? Uh, I really liked this movie. Mm -hmm. I, it wasn't fantastic. I mean, there were some really slow moments in it. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I thought it was really well done. I thought Zwick did a, did a hell of a job. I think mm -hmm. Daniel Craig and Lee Schreiber were fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're, they're really good actors. The great actors. Great and they're, actors. And they're good together. Um, but yeah, it was, it's really fascinating to see what they did and how much they accomplished with you know nothing, basically. They get a bunch of shit go into the woods, and then as, you know, they go back for more supplies, you know, as they venture out to other, like, local farms and stuff, they end up coming back with ten more people. So not only do they are they saving more people, but they're making it harder because they're running out of food, there's, you know, they need ammo, they need fucking beds, shelter, right. stuff like that. Right. And, it, and it's just amazing how they actually did this. It, it, um, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. no, no. Go ahead. No, it, it, it is. Um, you know, it's one of those movies you don't want to... I, I don't want to say... It's, you, you feel bad saying anything bad about a movie like this because it's about mm -hmm. characters that are seriously s unbelievable. They're wonderful. Mm -hmm. The thing with this movie is I feel like this story... It seemed like they, there was so much to tell in this story. It's really hard to get this into a two-hour movie. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the amount of this story. I wanted more backstory about these guys. Oh, yeah. We talked about this before. I think you brought it up. More mm -hmm. stories about, you know, how did they get to this point? At what point did they say, hey, we're going to start bringing people ourselves back here? Mm -hmm. How did they learn their training? Because, you know, they could kind of take care of themselves where everyone they were bringing back there really couldn't. Mm -hmm. um, were, basically, I, I saw two movies within this movie. Um, you know, not to give too much away, but one of the brothers, um, Zeus, Zeus. Um, it's Leib Le Schreiber, 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 Schreiber. Uh, he was in Scream. Uh, he ends up leaving the group for a while and joining the Russian army. Uh, not that he's Russian, but, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. The Russians are fighting the Germans, he goes and joins them. Yep. Well, I could have watched a whole movie with just him, with that Russian army. Yep. There was too little of that. That kind of bothered me. Uh, there were so many characters in the film, with everyone in the woods. Sometimes it's not dwelling on a character that you didn't know as much about. You didn't, mm -hmm. not that you didn't care about the character, but I want to see more what Daniel Craig's doing. I want to see more what Liv Schraub is doing. Mm -hmm. That's really my only, I guess, you know, problem with the movie. It was not so much a problem as there were moments that kind of, some moments that dragged a little bit, but other moments I wanted more of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Like, the brothers, I kind of wanted to see them as brothers. Now, you know, the way, the way that they worked in the movie is kind of like, there wasn't, like, the brotherly love there as much as I thought there would have been. Mm -hmm. And also, um, like, the end of the movie, I know it's based on a true story. Things happen at the end that seems way too Hollywood. A little Hollywood twist uh, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's... The, the story itself is, is good enough that you have, don't have to make it so dramatic and have, like, ooh, wow, uh, this just... I can't explain it, but you you'll see. If, if you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I'm saying, you know what, if you see the movie, I, I think you'll enjoy the movie, but I think if you want, you should definitely see the movie or not, you need to learn more about the Belsky brothers. Whether you go to your library or go online, whatever you have to do, learn about these guys. I think you can get a lot more information from them than you would just in the movie. Um, you know, by the way, I, I'll tell you, 
I remember real quickly when we were younger, I remember our teacher, another Edward Zick movie, in junior high, we, we got brought to the theater to see Glory. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another one that I think any teachers out there, you might want to look into bringing kids to see this in the theater, because it's great. It's a great history lesson. Absolutely. It's, um, you know, and it's a pretty good movie. Uh, thank you, you know. That's, it is a pretty violent movie, though, for kids. Uh, so is Glory, but we certainly enjoyed it. Glory was wonderful, and, you know, this is a wonderful story, too. So, uh, I'm saying, you know, I guess check it out. And uh, yeah, anything yeah. else? That's it. All right. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Mine is yours. All right. Mine is yours. And yours is mine. To next week, watch Fits on Flicks when you can. Check us out on fitsonflicks.com, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.